Hello, everyone. So my name is Jiri, and uh, today I'm act actually my name is uh, not on the slides because I'm presenting this work for my colleagues. And uh, so this uh, paper is uh, like this work is done by Bing He uh, from Georgia Tech University, and uh, this is work uh, for him during his uh, uh, you know like inter in Amazon, and uh, and uh, the other colleagues from Amazon is uh, like Sriyash and uh, Li Meng and uh, Zhen Li, Rahu, Zhen Li, Haiyang, uh, all from Amazon, and uh, Su Han is uh, from Penn State University. And uh, our work is about, uh, th their work is about hierarchical query classification in e-commerce search. And uh, uh, query classification is a crucial task in e-commerce, since platforms commonly use the classified uh, categories from queries to better understand the uh, uh, like the query and recommend the products to the customers and uh, users can oh, a second. Where is so, so do you mind sharing my phone so to show the screen uh -huh. Okay, and the user can type uh, various queries on the platform, like for books, food, and etc. And uh, oh, sorry, uh, and uh, and uh, for example, for the uh, queries like uh, coloring books uh, for children, the hierarchical label could be first. We classify the first tier that uh, 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 this is a, a book. And then we might classify it further to active books and within activity books to those for children. And finally, we might classify uh, that uh, the customer might want to uh, wants the uh, uh, coloring books with this hierarchical classification. We can retrieve and uh, rank more suitable products for customers. However, among a large number of queries, we need to be especially careful with uh, sensitive queries. This can include those that uh, show an intention to harm people or involve adult-oriented products. So to avoid encouraging the platform to present uh, products for these sensitive queries, so we need to classify them carefully into fine-grained categories for downstream applications. So given query here as like a uh, harm me, so we can say that uh, we first uh, classify this uh, uh, sensitive query to a harmful query, and then we classify that uh, as a self-harm. So and uh, we might uh, distinguish it and uh, give a limited uh, products for this. Uh, so to achieve this uh, task, there are a couple of challenges. And on top three, we would like to say is uh, like first of all, so we need how do we use the hierarchical information, and uh, the second is uh, how can we use the unlabeled data. So I would say that's the most important part because as you guys know that uh, most of data they don't have the label and it's very expensive to label them, and uh, and also how to handle the imbalanced data as uh, most of data are long tailed in the like uh, production. So for this work, we give a very straightforward but uh, effective approach. Uh, first of all, we give a, like a label hierarchical, just I showed. And uh, there, one more thing is the instance hierarchical. Uh, I'll show details later. And uh, in terms of uh, like uh, unlabeled data, uh, this paper, they use the like, uh, neighborhood aware sampling, which is uh, straightforward but smart, I would say. Uh, so here is about the label, label hierarchical. Very straightforward. It's like a, so for a label structure, we give a graph and the, use a graph uh, neural network for node representation. And uh, for the text embeddings, uh, has a weighted sum over the label embeddings for enhanced uh, representations in attention mechanism. And uh, in terms of uh, instance hierarchical, so for each instance, uh, it's uh, in placed like in different orders, and uh, 
uh, we use like a contrastive learning to encode this information. And uh, for the with loss function, they use uh, like a info and see contrastive uh, loss function for this. And I would say, if you say like uh, want to take away something from this uh, work, I would say this is the uh, most important part. It's like neighborhood over sampling. So for this intended, like what this work did is like uh, they intelligently select high quality predicted labels by neighborhood information to augment the data. So the intuition is uh, like straightforward, like uh, just check whether the predicted uh, label is similar to the label of the neighborhood. And uh, you can see here like uh, from the, uh, for the orange uh, data sample, you can see that uh, all in like in the cluster, you can see that like with the same distance, like a uh, uh, distance, you can say like uh, all samples are with the uh, same label. So we pick it and give the augmented data. And uh, for the light green, you can see that uh, within the like a uh, same distance, you can see that uh, there are green and deep orange uh, samples and you drop it. It's like straightforward, and, uh, but it's very you know, efficient. And uh, so for this approach, like uh, on Amazon data, so they beat the industry solution like by micro F1, they got like a 3.26% improvement. And uh, for macro F1, they got like 4.1 improvement. So besides Amazon internal data, they also use uh, two other data sets, WOS and uh, RCV1, V2, and they all got uh, very good uh, improvement jump. So that's all. Thank you.